If you wear glasses, there's a good chance that's because you're either short-sighted or long-sighted. But what do those terms really mean? And what is the difference? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining all about short-sightedness, long-sightedness. In very simple terms, but also going a little bit more complex, a little bit more in depth to really explore what the repercussions of myopia and hyperopia are. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at The Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. Now, before we begin, a quick mention about the glasses that I'm wearing today, because you guys are always asking me. This is genuinely one of my favorite pairs of frames. These are my custom Reykjavik Eyes rimless glasses, which I completely redesigned. So I created this pretty cool shape, I think, and the tint and the flash coating. So these were a bespoke shape fitted to the Reykjavik Eyes Alba rimless. And I love the extra brow bar that this has that makes it a really edgy, quirky rimless frame compared to most, which can be quite old fashioned. I love the orange coloration on the inside that gives them a real pop. But for this frame, it's all about the lenses. As with all rimless glasses, the lenses are the highlight and the frame is just about showcasing the lens design. So these have a blue gray 40% to zero graduated tint with a ruby flash coating. So that's that slightly pink reflection that you'll see from the surface of these lenses. I love the finished product and I rarely get to wear these glasses because they're always off being replicated for other customers. And that is something that we can do for you. So if you're interested, reach out to me in the comments below. But moving on, a way that I love to explain this to customers is that we essentially have a scale where zero would be in the middle and that means you don't need glasses. Now we can go in one direction and be slightly short-sighted or more short-sighted or very short-sighted. And we can go in the other direction and be slightly more long-sighted, moderately long-sighted or very long-sighted. A very simple way to think about this, this is the kind of way that I memorize it, is that short-sighted means you can see at short distances. Long-sighted means that you can see at long distances. But the reverse of that is also true. So a short-sighted person will struggle with things that are far away. And a long-sighted person will struggle with objects that are closer to them. Now, the more short-sighted you get, the closer something will need to be before it's in focus. And the more long-sighted you get, the further away something needs to be before it's in focus. Now, what causes that? Actually, it's the shape of our eyes, usually. So our eyes can become elongated, which is myopia or short-sightedness, or they can be flattened, which is long-sightedness. Now, both can have certain health implications, but most of the time, it's just a case of getting the right glasses that correct this and your vision will be great and your eyes will be nice and healthy. But in extreme cases, especially of myopia, short-sightedness, because the eye elongates so much, there is a risk of the retina, which is the layer of cells at the back of the eye, detaching from the rest of the eye, which is something we call retinal detachment. And that is definitely something to be aware of. But as I say, that's in very extreme cases. The chances are you're just slightly short-sighted and therefore you just need to get a good pair of glasses. Now, technically speaking, someone who's short-sighted only really needs to wear glasses for far distance. So things like driving and watching TV. And someone who's long-sighted generally needs glasses for things up close. So for example, working on the computer or reading. But in reality, who's gonna just put on a pair of glasses for those kind of tasks? I think that's a very old fashioned perspective on wearing glasses. For me, my glasses, cause I'm slightly short sighted, my glasses mainly correct the distance. Why would I wanna just put my glasses on when I wanna see in the distance? Because they correct everything, I can see up close and I can see far away with these glasses on. To me, that just makes life so much easier. So whether you're short sighted or long sighted, although you can get away without wearing glasses all the time, save yourself the effort and just own it, you know, own wearing glasses and embrace it. Nowadays, it's an accessory and not just an accessory, but a technology that helps you see the world better. And especially with the amount of treatments, lens designs and coatings that are out there, it's really a way to personalize your own style and your vision for your lifestyle. We've got plenty of videos on this channel about that subject, so I'd love you to check them out. On that subject, make sure to subscribe. But I thought you might find it interesting on a more complex basis to actually see what 
the focus of somebody's eyes is when they're short-sighted or long-sighted. Using our eye profiler, which physically measures the focus of our eyes, I've picked out a couple of my friends who wear glasses to show you what their focus actually looks like. And I love using this technology to actually explain to my clients how their vision has changed and why they really need glasses. So what the eye profiler does is it shines a laser through the eye. It's an invisible laser. You can't tell it's happening. And it's basically scanning how the eye is focusing light to the retina at the back. Now, we create essentially a map of your vision, which is completely unique to you. It's more unique than your fingerprint. And we use that to generate a prescription that's 25 times more accurate than a standard eye test. This is my friend's eyes, who is very short-sighted. And that is represented by the fact that we have dark blue in the middle and dark red around the edges. And regardless of what your prescription is for daytime conditions, we more or less all are slightly more short-sighted in the dark. And that's why often people will wear glasses purely for night driving or have a separate pair for night driving because of that. In fact, here you can see the slight difference as we go between nighttime and daytime. And that will actually change the overall focus of his eyes. Now let's compare that against someone who's long-sighted. So the complete opposite. Now this person is nowhere near as long-sighted as my other friend was short-sighted. So that's why you can see actually there's quite a lot of green in this image. So this slight hint of red in the middle and the blue around the edges represents long-sightedness. And again, that is different daytime to nighttime, just as it is for most people. So what are the practical effects of that? And what are some of the side effects of being short-sighted or long-sighted? Well, here are a few things that I've learned over the years. Generally speaking, we talked about that scale where zero is in the middle, short-sightedness, long-sightedness at either sides. You can be long-sighted and become more short-sighted over time. In other words, you can shift closer to zero. So if you see your optician and they tell you that your eyes have actually improved and you're long-sighted, that actually technically means that you just became more short-sighted. But that's a good thing because you moved closer to zero. On the other hand, you could be short-sighted and be told by your optician that that's actually reduced, in which case you've become more long-sighted. Now, generally speaking, as a rule, a shift in your prescription this way will be a lot easier to get used to than a shift in your prescription this way. But both have their side effects. Because when you shift this way towards being long-sighted, a prescription on this end of the scale magnifies objects. What that means is that even though they are more focused you're seeing them slightly magnified. And just like the resolution of an image, as you magnify it, you start to notice blurriness to the image. So a lot of people who have their prescription shifted from here to here will actually not like it and not enjoy it at first. And it's very important that you persevere with your prescription for that reason. On the other hand, when your prescription shifts from this side of the scale, long-sighted, closer to short-sighted, Generally speaking, you'll love your new glasses because as soon as you put them on, everything is going to just seem super clear and defined because it's actually shrinking the image down slightly compared to what you're used to. That makes it look more focused. It makes it look more contrasted. On the other hand, if you're presbyopic, which means that you also need separate glasses for reading, so you have a different prescription for close than you do for far, that can really play havoc in the other direction. So if you're a very focal wearer, for example, and your prescription shifts from being slightly long-sighted to being more short-sighted, that means that you're actually gonna struggle more with your new glasses for close-up because more of your prescription was magnified previously. That means your old glasses are going to be better for things like the computer and reading, but your new glasses will be better for distance. And this is a really good reason why it's always important to keep your old glasses. There's no harm in wearing those old glasses just when you're on the computer and reading. Sometimes that's just how it works out. It doesn't necessarily mean your, your prescription was wrong. That's something I'd really like to stress because it's one of the most kind of common examples of when people get new glasses and don't get on with them. Your optician is never going to be able to give you that perfect distance while maintaining the close vision that you have been used to with the old prescription. So as I say, those are a couple of examples where sometimes your prescription changing in one direction or another is not always the best thing, but hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and gives you a little bit of confidence going forward with your new prescription. I think that about wraps it up for short-sightedness versus long-sightedness. I'd love to hear from you, which one are you and how do you get on with your glasses? When do you wear them? When do you not wear them? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing eyewear content where we feature the latest frames, lens technologies, and give you advice on your vision as in today's video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.